Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with the miracles of Archangel Michael. I'm really excited to continue sharing from this book with you guys. Um, I'm very passionate about this topic, uh, not only because I am so in tune lately, you know, with my intuitive side, but also, you know, I keep getting, you know, signs from the angels, whether through numbers or through other things. And I don't know, it's just amazing. And I like sharing these experiences with you guys. So I'm going to read a little more to you guys from this book. And it says, I believe that Michael guided Lynn's son to call her. Only the strength of the archangel could get through to a busy teenage boy and remind him to call his mother. I also believe that the prayers that Lynn says 30 minutes before her son comes home each night keep him safe after he leaves the club. The following story from Tanya Rome also illustrates that we can ask Archangel Michael to help others. A few months ago, my boyfriend Aaron had his bike stolen from outside our apartment in the middle of the night. The person who took it cut through a thick bike chain and we were surprised that they did this so quietly. A lot of bikes get stolen where we live and it's rare for people to get them back. As soon as my boyfriend told me the bike was gone, I asked Archangel Michael to return it immediately and undamaged. To Aaron's amazement, the police called three hours later to say they'd found his bike. It had been abandoned in a car park with no damage. The people I've told this story to have been impressed or have commented that it's unusual or very lucky. I can't tell them all that I asked Archangel Michael to help because not everyone believes in such things, but I quietly know that luck didn't have anything to do with it. Tanya's story is another example of how Michael is a champion of justice and fairness. Because he's an upholder of truth, he's protective of those who are unfairly accused, as Maura Canty discovered when the Archangel provided legal safeguarding for her. I've been studying metaphysics for many years and have worked a little bit with angels. Before I had my experience with Michael, I had a hard time asking angels for support because one, I wasn't really sure they were there. Two, I have difficulty asking anyone for help. And three, I didn't really think I should be troubling heaven with my problems or requesting assistance in any way. Yet when I needed the angels in a way I never had before, I truly believe that Michael protected me. I work in the mortgage industry as a loan officer. Years ago, I was employed by a company and had an assistant who worked for me originating home loans. I was very busy and I had little time to pay attention to what my assistant was doing. I had no idea that she was committing fraud under my nose. One day I received a call from the State Bureau of Investigation who said that I was to present myself to a grand jury for the indictment on fraud against the government. I was horrified. I knew I'd done nothing wrong, so I contacted a lawyer who learned that the case against me was strong. An investigator informed him that I would definitely be indicted. So I hired the top attorney in the field. He too said the same thing. Tell your family and make arrangements for your son because you will be indicted for sure. Then we'll have to fight them at a cost of $30,000. The attorney explained that if we lost, I'd be in prison for five to eight years. I was innocent and I knew it, yet I was spinning out of control. Thankfully, that's when I remembered the angels. I called upon Archangel Michael, lit blue candles in his honor, since that's the color he's associated with, and asked him to enfold me in his wings and protect me from false accusations and let the truth be known. Every day I invoked Archangel Michael to surround me and protect me. I sent my son to live with family members while I waited to be arrested. It was a horrible time, but I believed that Michael would protect me and the truth would come to light. Well, my faith was rewarded. My attorney and all parties concerned were shocked when I wasn't indicted. They said that this investigator had been so positive he had a case against me without a doubt. Time passed, the grand jury was dismissed, and I was never called in or arrested. My name was kept out of the whole scandal as well. My old assistant was indicted though, and she's currently serving time. All I can say is that I know Archangel Michael saved my life. He protected me and my son, whose name is also Michael. 
it reinforced my belief in the angelic realm. And ever since then, I tell everyone about the messengers from heaven and my experiences with them. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Michael is always with us, continually watching over everyone in the entire planet. As I've mentioned several times, he's unlimited in his ability to be with us all simultaneously and to provide unique individualized attention to anyone who asks. In the next chapter, we'll examine Michael's miraculous ability to provide help in the form of people. And sometimes the archangel appears in human form himself. So that's it. Oh my God. I just finished like an entire chapter. That was chapter four. So the next chapter will be chapter five. So I will move on. When I move on to that chapter, I will share some more excerpts from the book with you guys. But I, I wanted to like share some more because, um, I don't know you guys, like, like I told you before, lately I've been very in tune with my intuitive side. I get a lot of, um, signs I would say like from the angels, I see the number 1111 a lot, like I'll look and it's not like really planned. It's not like I look out for the time to change and turn to 1111. So then I can be like, oh, look, you know, it's like an angelic message. It's, it's just totally like non-planned and I'll just like be doing whatever and I'll be curious to see what time it is. And 11, 11, then I'm like, oh my God, you know, and you could Google this stuff. Like if you want to know what the angelic meaning to each uh, number pattern, you'll get like a message. It'll tell you what it represents. Um, but I thought that was so cool, you know, and then the other day I was, it was funny how it happened though, you know, because uh, they will always make sure to let their presence be known by letting you know through these um through these signs and like numbers are like a very strong thing for them but it was funny because i have my youtube set up in a way <clears throat> that when i log on from a different device that my youtube does not recognize it'll send me a code to my phone it'll text me a code to my phone so that I could enter it and they know that it's me and nobody's hacking like my YouTube. So I was signing in from a different computer and um, cause I guess I was getting ready to upload a video or something and I signed in and my YouTube wanted me to verify that it was me. So it texts me a code and it was a six digit code, but the first three numbers were five 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 and i was like i did like a double take you know and i looked at my phone and i was like oh my god because you know that's what they say another sign when angels are trying to like reach out to you or let you know that they're there that you know that everything is okay or they want to just convey a positive message to you they will will usually show you signs by um a repetitive number like i said like like the time 11 11 or 555 or 444 or 777 anything like that you know it has meaning and i i was like oh my god wow you know and i had looked it up and i i forgot what the exact meaning was but it was just amazing you know because it's something personal it's something that it it speaks to you you know to yourself and you know you know that it comes from god you know that it comes from from the angels you know and the bible there's a passage in the Bible. I don't know exactly where it's at, but you know, you just look it up, Google it, and you'll see there's a passage in the Bible that says, um, be, uh, I think, you know, I'm just paraphrasing you guys, but in, it says to be aware, to be, uh, or to be alert to angels unaware because, you know, or be, no, it's something along the lines of be, be sure to entertain you know, strangers, because amongst them, sometimes you may be entertaining angels unaware. Like, I know I'm totally mangling that <laughs> that scripture, you guys, but you get what I mean. Just Google it. You'll find it. It's in the Bible. So yeah, you know, angels could be all around us and sometimes they could take whatever form, you know, the form of a person or whatever. Remember, after all, I'm stressing this again. Angels are messengers of God. So you know, when God wants to speak directly to us or through his angels, you know, he'll send whatever, whoever angels will give us signs and meanings and stuff like that through like numeric sequences, or they say, even if like, let's say you're, 
you're walking down the street or anywhere and you come across a feather or you find a feather on the ground, that is a sign that the angels are watching over you, that they're there or they're, they're trying to relay a message to you, you know? So yeah, little things like that. I, I thought that was so curious. And so yeah, you guys, I'm really loving this book. Like I said, I'm halfway, halfway through the book already, haven't bookmarked. So the next chapter that I'll move on to is chapter five. And the next one is going to be about human help from Michael. So this is going to be an interesting chapter to get into. And I have, I am really trying to get through this book already because I have so many books that I need to like get started with and I want to share with you guys. So, but yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make it a good day and I will see you all in my next video. All right, guys. Bye-bye.